Okay, our next sector is city government, and I have a police department official. Uh, this is Kevin Brayman. He is currently a patrol sergeant, but he has a history that links back to Lincoln High School. He was a resource officer for there, there for four years. Was it four years? Three. Three years. Unfortunately, he got promoted to patrol sergeant, so Lincoln lost him. But um, my favorite story of Kevin was when he was leaving Lincoln, and he said that his time at Lincoln with the Lincoln staff and kids taught him how to walk the streets differently with this information. So with the help Kevin of Brandon. Terry and, and Mark Brown, we trained all of our police officers about ACEs and about resilience. We also took the training to the Sheriff's Department and trained all of their deputies as well. Um, and then, you know, as a, as a patrol sergeant, one of my duties is to mentor and guide our new officers as they become employed at the department and as they uh, learn to be police officers. And with that uh, responsibility, I feel it's my place to teach them about uh, ACEs, to teach them about resilience, and what that means for a, for a cop on a, a daily basis or even weekly basis. Because when you run across a, a kid that has struggles in the community or he's, he's downtown all the time, you make that one-on-one -on -one connection with him and you can really, I, I think you can make a difference. Um, and this goes on and, and I can give some examples too. Uh, my time at Lincoln, I had a lot of time there one-on-one -on -one with kids. And even today I see them in the community, they're starting families of their own, they have careers of their own, and we still talk, and it's, it's still a uh, connection that I have with them and a piece of resilience, um, and I'm just one piece of the puzzle. The school, uh, the administrators, the teachers, they were all a big part of that as well. Um, so the heart of the matter to me as I move forward in my career is teaching the other officers that I work alongside how to be compassionate towards these kids on a, on a regular basis how to offer a little piece of resilience and maybe make a difference. And um, just getting the whole department to buy in on that. It's not an easy career. Um, our officers deal with the same five to 10% of the public all the time and they become frustrated. They maybe after 20 or 30 years, they get a little uh, overwhelmed with the same problem over and over again. And so having patience and having compassion for those people is not always easy. And having this extra piece of knowledge and this extra training that we provide